Tonight we talked a lot about safety. The word safe is his family safe or his friends safe and the answer is no, but hatred overseas is not his only concern. He's also worried about hatred here at home and anti-Semitism. Well, it is something that is far from new across our area. There's no words to describe. That's my family and friends. Dean Baghdadi is an Israeli who is working with the Jewish community of Northern Virginia, watching in horror from afar, praying for his family and friends in Israel. The pictures, the videos, they are horrifying. Families realize that their young ones are either dead or kidnapped from videos. A friend of mine was at the party and she was kidnapped and the family found out about it from a video. He says right now the Jewish community is scared, but not for the first time. Unfortunately, the Jewish people has been dealing with anti-Semitism for years now. Anti-Semitic incidents are up across the country, according to the Anti-Defamation League. They say 2022 was the worst year since they began recording incidents in 1979. In Maryland, they saw a 98% increase in anti-Semitic incidents between 2021 and 2022. In February, there were at least nine anti-Semitic incidents at Montgomery County Schools. In 2022, D.C. police said more than 100 swastikas were drawn all over the front of Union Station. And just last month, Fauquier County Schools came under fire for this. Thursday night, the superintendent responded. I just wanted to take this opportunity to issue a public apology. Unfortunately, there have been many incidents like this that stand out for Baghdadi, like when swastikas were drawn on the Jewish Community Center of Northern Virginia in 2018. But what stands out more, he says, is what followed. The light will always shine. An outpouring of support, something Baghdadi says he's also starting to see now in light of what's unfolded. One of the bright lights seeing how many people are volunteering and helping and people here in the community have been receiving so much support from the Jewish community embracing us. Now, the Anti-Defamation League says tonight they are not aware of any current threats against Jewish institutions here in our area, but have nonetheless asked local law enforcement to have extra patrols around local Jewish institutions like synagogues and other places where Jewish community gathers. In Northwest D.C., I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA 9.